We're always in church on the Lord's Day. That was the summer of 1972. I don't know where some of you older people were in 72, but think about that. In our church, we had a balcony. Some churches, the choir sang in the balcony. Some forward like this. A lot behind the pastor, which I like because it could drown out my bad singing <coughs> voice. My mom said Southern Baptist preachers could preach and sing. Why Presbyterian ministers could only preach or sing, but they couldn't be both. She said you had to work on that. I said we just don't have that gift of the singing voice. There are a lot of people that do. But sitting up on the pew and looking down on people, especially in the eyes of a young person like I was at that time, we see a lot of things. Now, my cousin Billy had his own opinion, even though he was 14 and a half, that the people had gathered to remind God how hard they worked all week and how few pleasures they took for themselves. Now, since the time of Noah and the Great Flood, my cousin Billy would say, we're always waiting around for the Lord to come. And the people in the farm country where I grew up, they were looking to always say, boy, as soon as I get out of high school, I'm out of here to the big city. Always looking for a different thing. Looking down at, from the balcony, we'd see people now back then the ladies wore long gloves, ladies, remember those days? And always had hats. My grandma would not, would not be caught on a Sunday going to church without her hat. I sometimes sat behind some ladies and I couldn't see even the minister and the choir the hats were so big. <laughs> But there was a passage there in the Old Testament about being covered. That was important. And my cousin would say something about look at so and so down there and they all dressed up and look at so and so over on this side and he ain't even wearing a tie. What is that? 